Shalom YouTube, Megan AP here. Today we're going to be doing a DIY. Sorry to interrupt, but actually we're going to be talking about Sherlock today. What? I thought we were making paperclip hearts. No, that's boring. They'd much rather listen to me talk. No, this is supposed to be my video. Shut up, American Megan. You lower the IQ of our entire world. Fine, have it your way. Good. Now that she's gone, we can get on to the real topic of this video. Sherlock. Now if you haven't seen season 4, then pause this video right now, go watch it, and then come back. Because if you haven't seen the season, then this video is just going to entirely spoil it for you. Now, I'd like to start by saying that this season was my favourite season yet. It had me on the edge of my seat the whole time, and I was so emotionally involved with this season. It was just amazing. Now, my favourite thing about the whole season was probably... Sherlock's character development because if we go back to season one we can see that Sherlock is just this robotic emotionless sociopath the man he always tells everyone he is but he really was that man in season one now fast forward to season four and we have a Sherlock who's whether he wants to admit it or not very open with his emotions so I'm going to be comparing season one Sherlock to season four Sherlock the first scene I would like to compare them in is the scene where Mary dies. Now, if we put season one Sherlock in this scene, I think that he would just be standing there, straight-faced. Of course he would be sad for John. He might have a sympathetic brow, maybe. But he would really just be standing there, watching what was happening, hiding any emotion he might have from everyone else. But what really happened is we have season 4 Sherlock sitting here, you can see the despair on his face as he watches one of his best friends, the wife of his very best friend, dying and there's nothing he can do about it. Just a side note, I feel like the drug usage in the next episode is sort of a coping mechanism for Sherlock um, to cope with the fact that Mary's dead and that John doesn't want him around, even though he says it's a plan. Next scene I'm going to compare them in is the scene that, in my opinion, was the most heart-wrenching scene in the entire season, which was the third room in Euros's dungeon, I guess, which is where they find a casket, which Sherlock quickly deduces is made for Molly Hooper. Now. When he realises that it's for Molly, and he realises that he has to save her, no matter what it entails, you can see it on his face that he is willing to do whatever needs to be done to save her. And then she makes him call Molly and convince her to say, I love you. Here's where we're going to bring back in Season 1 Sherlock. I think that Season 1 Sherlock would have gone about this a lot differently than Season 4 Sherlock did. Because I think that he would have first come up with a reason why she would have to say that, a convincing reason, and then really logically convince her that she had to say it. And then he probably would have used one of his manipulative phrases that he always says to Molly to get her to do what he wants. And that would have been it. She would have said it. It would have been over. But season four Sherlock, in the same situation, literally just begged her. He could not think straight. He was so desperate to save her that he just begged. He couldn't come up with any reason, any situation that he could think of that she would have to say that. And so he literally just begged and pleaded for, for her to say it because he didn't know what else to do. Then when she turns that around um, on him and tells him to say it first, season one Sherlock would have just said it. I love you. It's the logical thing to do because she needs to hear me say it in order for her to say it in order for me to save her life. So I just say it. It's the logical thing to do. And he wouldn't have said it like he meant it though. It would have just been because that's how I save the day, not because I really do love her. But season four Sherlock when she turned it around and said, you say it first, he hesitated. He had to take a moment to think about that because he was taken aback. 
He didn't think he would ever have to say that to someone, and he needed to, to analyze himself and see if that was true. Now, he did this all very quickly, since he was on sort of a time crunch, but when he finally did say it, I really think he meant it. Anyway, enough of that, it was rather deep. Let's go to a bit of a lighter note, and we're going to talk about things that didn't make sense in this season. Like, number one, when in episode one, when Molly hands the note to Sherlock, saying this is a note from John, and then Sherlock walks away, and we never get to see what's in that note. I want to know what's in the note! Just tell me! What did John say to Sherlock? Next, number two, is when John is seeing his therapist, who turns out to be Sherlock's sister and decides to shoot him in the head. That's how the episode ends. Next episode, we expect some clarification on how he survives that. But he's just fine. And out with Sherlock trying to talk to Mycroft. But John, how did you not get shot in the head? Care to elaborate? No? Fine, we'll just go the rest of the episode without knowing how John's not dead. Number three, at the very end of the episode, when John's stuck in a well, Sherlock finds him, throws a rope down, and John climbs out with ease. Fine, right? Except, moments earlier, John said that his feet were chained to the bottom of the well. How did you get your feet out, John? So we're going to move on, talk about some times in this season when we thought that Jim Moriarty was back. Time number one, when we saw the disc that said miss me on it? We all of course thought that was from Moriarty, but unfortunately it wasn't, it was just from Mary. Next time number two was when John was seeing his therapist, who revealed that she was the lady on the bus and the woman that Sherlock had chips with. And for a split second there, we all thought that she was Moriarty. Don't deny it, I know you thought so too. Moment number three was when we actually saw Moriarty. He made a fabulous entrance, dancing out of a helicopter like only Jim Moriarty can, and for whatever reason that we can't even explain, we were all extremely excited about this. Because he's Moriarty and he's fabulous and we love him for whatever twisted reason. But then, this happened. Why do you have to be like that? Either bring him back or don't, but stop getting our hopes up. Anyway, I think that's all I had to say about this episode. The end of the episode wraps up extremely nicely. We have a beautiful moment with Sherlock playing the violin with his sister, and the Holmes family is all together again, somewhat. And then we have a montage where John and and Rosie and Sherlock are all happy and Molly makes an appearance and to add to all this we have a moment where a policeman says uh, Sherlock Holmes is a great man and then Lestrade says no he's more than that he's a good one and this just finishes out the quote from uh, season one episode one where Lestrade says Sherlock Holmes is a great man and if we're very lucky one day he might even be a good one and so with that moment and with the montage, this episode just wrapped up the season so very well. Thank you so much for watching everyone, um, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment on what you thought, anything you noticed that was interesting about this season. Um, if you want to read a fanfiction that I wrote about Sherlock going to Molly's flat and saying sorry for putting her through that in the final episode. Um, then I will leave the link to the story down below in the description. I can't wait to do another video next week. See ya! Wait a second, come to think of it, that ending was very uncharacteristic for an episode of Sherlock. It did seem very final, didn't it? This better not be the last episode!